So I actually got my own tea. I love me some peppermint. I love me some peppermint. Peppermint. Peppermint tea. <laughs> Hi sis, welcome to Fab Chic Mothers. How are you doing? I am so excited to have you check out my video today or come back to my channel. My name is Doris and on Fab Chic Mothers we talk everything fashion, how to look classy, feminine, ladylike and fabulous on a budget. So if this is right up your alley or just curious to know what we have to offer here, please sis, stay and watch until the end of the video. And please consider joining this family by subscribing to my channel and also liking this video, sharing it and all the YouTube things. So <laughs> sis, if this is not your first time, you know, you come back, you love what you're seeing. I'm so thankful. Thank you so much for your support and your encouragement. So for today, I am going to resume on my purging, sis, it's got to happen. You know, we all have those items in our wardrobe that may not necessarily fit anymore. We got to be honest here, you know, we haven't tried on for a few years. We don't even know if we like it anymore. You know, maybe we keep for sentimental reasons, but it doesn't really, you know, it's not us anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going to go through my blazers. I did my belts before. Of course it was the easy one now i have to get to my blazers i love my blazers oh my gosh i've had some fabulous ones over the years and I actually purged before last year as we were actually building this closet and i gave a lot of my stuff away oh my goodness a lot a lot so i feel like you know there's been some new things coming in and you know it's also another excuse to just check out what i got and give you some styling options and talk to you about you know about my stuff you know about styling about fashion <laughs> so i really hope you're going to enjoy this video i have a lot of blazers i have like a whole rack over there so literally i'm working with a rack that i'm going to show you a video the rack that is over there by the wall this is not even half of that rack i have another rack of blazers here i have another rack of blazers over there by the walls so it's gonna be several parts with blazers purging so hang in there with me sis i need your input in the comments and i really hope that it's going to be fun we just chit chatting as girlfriends get yourself some tea your drink some water some juice because you know it's going to be very interactive as much as we can <laughs> i actually got my own tea i love me some peppermint i love me some peppermint 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 tea <laughs> So this is some peppermint tea. I actually heard, I think on a YouTube video from, uh, what's that dermatologist name? Doctor, ooh, I'll put her name down. Jackson? No. I'll put her name down. She's a dermatologist. She's, I mean, her YouTube just blew up. She's so knowledgeable and so, I mean, just so good. She's somewhere here in Florida. And she was saying that peppermint tea actually helps with um, acne breakouts and, you know, the quality of your skin. So um, I just got on it. We'll see. We'll see what it does to my skin. Um, we'll see if it really works. And so I am adding a little bit of honey to it. That's why I like to drink it. I really cannot drink it <laughs> completely sugarless or sugar free. A little bit of honey for some taste. Before I dive into the blazers I have already set out for you, um, just outfit of the day. This is actually like a set I have worn before, I think over a year ago on my channel and uh i really like this look i really want it to be more girly a lot of pink today of course i thrifted this top i just love it tie dye i think it's so 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 cool it's, it's actually like a shirt it comes down to maybe here and then you know you can always do tight you know make it cropped make it more fitted and uh, i like to button it you know to the top you can also let it you know open and i am wearing an h&m dress i purchased a few years ago it's really nice for the summer it's spaghetti strap so you see this this is another way as well to style your spaghetti strap if you want to cover up so i really really like this that's casual chic and i really like that <laughs> mm. 
Now, on to the blazers. I'm going to start with this swag first. And the pinkish to the red blazers. Starting with this blazer. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know about this light pale pink color on me. What do you think? This is a Zara blazer I purchased a few, probably two years ago during the sale. It was so ridiculously cheap. I think I got caught up in the whole vibe of the sales. And then I believe when I got it, I think it was too late to return it. I completely forgot. So I guess I had to keep it. But I never really reached out to it. I don't know this blazer never really called my name and I mean it was oversized this is XXL let me see yeah XXL and usually I wear the XL so it's way more oversized and um, let's see let's see how it looks now how do I feel about it so of course sis, I need your input in the comments because I really don't want to keep anything that I don't love what was I thinking? What was I thinking? I guess I just hung it. That's why I never actually reached out and worn it, actually. It's, what is that? I mean, it's so light. I don't even like the material, honestly. You see, so it happens even to the best of us to make some silly purchases and we get caught up. <sighs> I mean, I can actually think in my head, oh, I can belt and I can... I just don't like the color. I don't like the fit. It's like a straight jacket. It doesn't do anything for me. What is it even doing still in my nice inventory? It doesn't make sense. So honestly, this one is the first to go. I get even better from the thrift store than that. This is ridiculous. I don't even like the buttons. Those white buttons, I don't know. It's it's just not me it's too oversized the color is not really flattering with my skin tone the buttons the feet no eh. okay this one is going sis because i think i had it for like i don't know twenty dollars and it was originally maybe 79 dollars and i was like yeah i got a great sales great deal yeah right <laughs> so it's gotta go it's gotta go okay first one to go nope 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 I am not even playing myself I need to keep my wardrobe for the better and finer things next I mean who am I kidding where is this thing going I literally recently bought it and I love it so much it's a black label by Evan Picone um, blazer size 12 yeah the tag is still there $5.99 now I'm talking you see how even your demeanor changes when you're actually wearing something that you like, something that, you know, you, you feel that joy. Isn't that what the Marie Kondo principle says? It needs to bring you joy. And this one does. I mean, it does. It really changed my demeanor all of a sudden. I feel like, you know, I look my best. And I feel like I look good. It's definitely staying. Yes, this one is staying for sure. So I think definitely this type of bright pink fits me better than that pale pink color from the first one. So yes, I'm keeping this. Let me put it right here. Okay. The second blazer. Oh, I love this orange color. This is so good. It gives me such like a rich auntie vibe. This is thrifted of course vintage from atrium collection size 10 i love everything about it let me put it on for you so you can see okay oh yes i believe i actually shot a picture with this before if i can find it i will post a picture for you but sis what do you think fabulous that's all i can see I love this look so much. I love the shape. Look at this detail right here. I think it's just so good. So, so good. Yes. Look at the shape. That's perfect. They really understand the woman's body. I mean, even if you, you, know, you don't have that shape, it really gives you a nice silhouette. And I love the golden buttons. It's just 
vintage fabulous i love it i love the shoulder pads the short sleeve blazers also are so nice i love that style and that tiny button here i mean come on now you look gorgeous sis i mean with some shorts with um some jeans with a skirt over a dress you are good to go anywhere sis even during this summer it's it's beautiful that's what i can say it is beautiful and i'd rather wear it actually open than you know to suck in <laughs> well <laughs> if you're smaller you don't have to suck in but you know you know <laughs> but it fits me perfectly um the shoulders the arm oh, i love 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 this so the, yeah i'm keeping this also the purpose for me purging is not to reduce my closet you know by a third or whatever i go by feeling does it fit me? Do I like it still? Is it something that I'll reach out to in the near future? I'm by no means trying to be minimalist. Sis. This is not the channel for it. I am not a minimalist. <laughs> I am a proud maximalist. I want options. I love colors. I love prints. I just want a lot of stuff to make my choices and be my creative self as far as fashion is concerned. So this is not to say I want to have 10 blazers at the end of the day. Oh, no, 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 please. If you are a minimalist, I mean, more power to you because I could not do it, at least not right now. Yes, this one I love. I think I actually wore it, yeah, not long ago, I remember. Yes, I love this one. I love this one. You see, you see the shape? That's what I mean. It needs to be flattering. I just love this kind of scallop end here. And this is vintage, of course. I mean... Come on, this is vintage. You know it is vintage. It's just perfection. I love the shoulder pads. I love this bright pink color. Just perfect. Perfect. Oh, two buttons actually. And then you can actually fold the, um, the sleeves. And there you go. Stays. Okay, so, so far, one blazer is going. this one Ooh, I love this one this one do I see you know I'm keeping this I love this one it's just perfect let me get closer this is printed of course vintage oh look at the motif here so elegant oh, it's a bit oversized and linen let me tell you this piece is such a gem such a gem I just love it so much Oh, yes, yes, nothing, nothing to say, nothing, nothing. I mean, if I have not convinced you to start thrifting yet, sis, come on, come on, Goodwill, Salvation Army. And those holes in the wall, thrift stores, like connected to churches, connected to like hospitals or nonprofits. Habitat for Humanity is another one I like to go to. This actually thrifted here on this channel a few months back, and I love it. I love it. I don't even think I need to try it on. It's just perfect. Kate McNaughton, vintage, tweed. I mean, come on. I love it. I do not even have to try this on this oh 
I am keeping, of course. I love this lilac color. It's so gorgeous. I actually used it recently um, for my at the beginning of this year for my fashion look um, lookbooks, and I insert some pictures. I just love the length. I think you know those short sleeve blazers. Once again, do not sleep on those. They are so very a little bit out of style, but that's where the goodness comes up. Like you can wear them over the summer, you know, and let your arms breathe. Or you can actually wear something underneath it, something longer, like I did on the pictures for that look, and actually add another dimension, another piece of layering to your outfit. So you can wear a sweater underneath it, a turtleneck, a bodysuit. It goes well with so many things. Over it dress i could even wear this over this dress you see the purple it will look so great you can belt it as well so don't sleep over that i know they're more like 80s kind of vibe but i love vintage so <laughs> one now is I love it I didn't I just wear this I just wore this I'll answer the pictures of the videos I just wore this with my Tabita brown remember my Tabita brown haul when I was trying on the pink dress it was just perfect with this blazer this is from pretty little thing um, a few years back it's very light I think it's polyester lightweight the color blocking got to me I just love that bright orange and the pink. I think it's just so gorgeous. So yes, staying. It's staying. <laughs> next blazer or cape of course I'm keeping this sis what do you think I was going to take this is Zara this is actually a new one purchase I made um, size XL I believe this is part of a current sale going on right now so if you want it sis run get it maybe sold out but keep watch you know on the blazer stabs and uh, they may restock it if you know people return stuff or they're trying to actually sell out a lot of inventories anyways during those sales right now so love it love it love it love me a good nice blazer that's why i actually purchased a lot of things from zara because it's not really obvious to find those pieces like this when you're thrifting and zara makes them you know decently affordable and uh, i mean love it you're more susceptible to actually find a black cape than a pink cape so i bought this and i bought the white one this year so i have the white and the i bought the black the white and have this so every year if i come up with a different color i'll get it because a cape is so stylish so nice so just you know so different than a regular blazer and you can also style it with something underneath it of course layers 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 that's my motto here and i love it Ooh, yes 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 this is a vintage blazer and i have pictures for it i believe i 
love it love it this is a double breasted blazer um originally come on now sis do you even see those the chain detail here come on this is from Capagalo. Capagalo, size 12 made in hong kong long that's what you call a blazer dress for real but of course i like to wear something underneath it you know and not necessarily wear it as a dress i love it i love the style i love the bright red color i mean thrifting is just everything you don't really see these types of even styles anymore in today's retail retail um space so that's why it's so good oh i wore it recently now i remember with my fashion week look as well i wore this with the my boots i will insert some pictures yes and, and i wore this for i think last year for my um, valentine's day look as well so yes you've seen that already on this channel i'm keeping it because if it's great <music> This is an Austin Reed vintage blazer. I thrifted. Oh my gosh, the weight, the quality, sis. This is just amazing. I want to put it on. Just want to play dress up and have fun because I haven't worn this in a while. So let's see how it fits. Like, if I have worn something recently, I know it fits well. I don't necessarily have to try it on. But let me. Oh. I just love it gives me like a corporate slash you know um, professional vibe I love this oh you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of like a membership club type of blazer it's you know very square very and it's not too long I like that because there's a place and a and a time for this look you know depending on what you want to achieve you know what you how you want to look a certain way certain style so this definitely will come in handy i really really like i like this as well i love it it's staying it fits great it fits really really great and those blazers since you wear this over a pair of jeans some denim some shorts, some Bermuda shorts, you know, for this summer with a pair of tennis shoes, some wedges, espadrilles, a flowy skirt, a pencil skirt. You can wear this over anything. Over anything. Okay. So now the next blazer, this is also a vintage thrifted blazer. Like, did I tell you today, did I actually, for the newcomers, that I actually go to the men's section for a lot of my blazers, but just have a different look, a different feel. Um, I love the oversized um, style of a men's blazer as well. So it's very straight down. And this really reminds me of like um, a blazer from the 70s, like from a grandpa. I love this. I know I'm keeping this. I just want to try it on for you. I love, love this big pocket up front. And also, I noticed that the men's blazers can be also cheaper, you know, about the pink tax. <laughs> A lot of the things that we women buy are more expensive than the men's um, for certain things. So, do we like or do we like? <laughs> I like it. What do you think? I personally like it. I love how oversized it is. It's like you're looking chic, but a bit kind of like casual. You know, you're going on your ranch. <laughs> Wishful thinking. 
I love it. You can elevate this look, sis. You can elevate this look and make it look like glam. Make it look like editorial. I love, love this look. Uh, and I really like also to have a big array of even red colors because of the variations of colors, different hues. All reds are not made equal. There's different types of red, you know, right? So this one is like blood red and this one is more orangey. I know there is a probably a scientific term for all of those words it is what it is <laughs> people may be like oh this is too many red blazers for example no different words call for different styles which means that you can pair them with different things as well and like i said i love to have variety and choices and options and just be creative and playful with my look so i love this it's definitely staying definitely the next blazer is this one it really reminds me of the one i just tried on don't you think it's kind of like different version like maybe um shorter like a more cropped version hmm. so this is worth think on and this is a petite so part that's why it's shorter um 10p petite double breasted so let's try this on this one I don't know and just keep in mind sis a lot of those blazers I've had for years so I may purchase one thing you know today and in two years purchase another thing so that's why they may look alike as well this is like a collection oh I like that it reminds me of the one I just tried on it's more fitted I think I think it's more fitted that's the difference do we need both if we're talking about purging do I need this one too honestly hmm. do we need both mm. do we need both sis this one has got to go I feel like this is too redundant I have the other one that I love and this one fits but if I had to pick I think the other one is better quality or just better fit you see what I mean I don't know tell me what you think I think this one can go I think this one can go also sis give me um, let me know I'm thinking of um, keeping those blazers and maybe do like a a giveaway once we reach 1000 subscribers what do you think <laughs> i don't know i really want to you know to um to show my gratefulness and also share the goodies you know with you my sis so i'm thinking i'll keep a lot of the things i'll be purging and do a giveaway once we reach 1000 subscribers sis so you got to help your sis here i think right now we passed 500 subscribers and come on sis we can do better than this we need to share the fashion to the rest of the world so this is what i'm thinking i want to keep a lot of the things i'll be purging you know over the few next months you know whether it will be skirts or whatever and make some goodies you know for my sis and um i'll let you know when the time comes once we reach 1000 subscribers the rules whatever whatever so i think that's a good idea don't you think so sis yeah because i love to gift things um okay so we did that oh yes this i literally call my iris up for jacket this is gorgeous i love it it reminds me of the kimono oh, even the buttons up the i work of art sis let me get closer so you can see the buttons do you even see the applique do you see the embellishment the tribal looking buttons 7.99 goodwill size m and the designer is alex cam ah oh, i should have a wore this that's that's a shame oh, I love this you see how it's so easy to forget about your own stuff let me see oh yes I love this 
this one is staying. Oh my lord, this is perfection. Look at that. Oh, it's got pockets. You know, I'm like shopping my own stash right now. I'm rediscovering. <laughs> you know, that's a good thing also when you're purging. You're rediscovering your own pieces because you may see them hanging, but they're not necessarily like calling at you calling at you then when you're actually going through each individual piece you're like yes I remember that it's so fun so yes I love this oh, I love the slits on the side casual simple but yet chic I love this I'm keeping this oh, I mean where can you find pieces like that anymore these days and it doesn't cost the uh, the eyes of the head this is actually the little translation of French. <laughs> the eyes of a head. <laughs> In French we say les yeux de la tête. So okay. Another double breasted with golden buttons. Oh my lord. So this is from Le Suit. Paris, New York, size 12, thrifted. Never worn apparently. It reminds me again of this reminds me a lot of this hmm let's see do we need it do we need to keep it we shall see Ooh, we'll see we'll see we'll see mm, mm. oh this one we may have some problems with the arms yeah we may have some problems I feel a bit more restricted I'm sure I had this for like years because I never really wished out to it. Yeah, those, I probably got this one before I got the perfect, perfect one right here. So this one is going, sis. It's going to be part of a giveaway as well. I really hope that you, sis, will enjoy it once we get to that giveaway and that you will rock those pieces and make me proud. <laughs> So yes, one more hanger gone. The next one, oh, this one too. The next one is gonna be, oh, we're done with a white, white, okay. This plaid blazer, I really like it. Do I have another one like this? I feel like I have another plaid blazer. Oh, I guess it, oh, I had the, that's why it looks, familiar because I had a plaid sweater so okay yeah because I was like it looks familiar let me try this on I really hope I keep this because I don't have any other like this this is twisted of course so let's see let's see let's see oh so this is not bad I know that this sleeves are a bit shorter but let me see if I can remediate to this situation. Folding them. Yeah. Well, I feel like I don't have any other to even compare it with. So I should keep this one. I should keep this one. I really think I can style it. I think I'm so used to like oversized blazers now that even when I wear a regular blazer, I feel... I feel tight, but I'm wearing a shirt underneath it as well, but I like this. And you know the holidays are coming, Christmas season and whatnot, there will be a lot of styling to be done. So I'm keeping this. I am keeping this. You can belt it, oh my gosh, over a dress and look so chic. I'm keeping this. Okay. Next, what we got. We have, yeah, now I'm actually getting excited about the giveaway because I have so many more things that I retired that are in bins that I don't want anymore. And I'm going to add to the lot. So it's, it's going to be giveaway bonanza. You get a blazer, you get a blazer, you get a blazer. <laughs> It's 
gonna be like the Oprah special giving away cars. You get a skirt, you get a blazer, you get a pair of shoes. <laughs> so yes, stay tuned sis. If you have not subbed yet, you want us to get to 1,000, right? Come on now, you know. You know, you know what to do now. So um, the next one is gonna be this blazer. Oh, I know for sure it's gonna stay. I just love the prints. Oh, I love the prints. I love it. It looks so chic. I'm fully sure I wore this because I added this brooch. And this is also such a nice way to accessorize your blazers, adding brooches. I know this is like, it's seen as passe for like grandmas, but let me tell you, a nice brooch would add such an interesting and chic detail to your outfits. Let me show you something. Oh, I actually have a you see for example this um this blazer i thrifted this was already on it when i bought it so that grandma knew what she was doing she actually put two cute brushes already and of course i got it so of course i'm keeping this sis i love this blazer it's just it's just me it is just me that's all i can explain yes i like it I like it, like it. Oh my goodness, we're not even done with this rack. This is going to be part one, sis. Because I know you got things to do. <laughs> and then I'll film the second part later. Also, whenever you actually um, hanging your blazers, be mindful as well of the position of the colors because sometimes this can happen. It doesn't go back as flat anymore because it's been bunched up. So... I periodically come and actually layer and flatten the, you know, the colors now. So you won't be looking crazy when I'm trying to wear it now. That's another tip for you. Oh, this one looks... Oh my gosh, yes. Wait a minute. What? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You cannot be telling me this is tight. Sis, what happened? They shrank on their own or something? It's not me getting weight. It's them shrinking on their own. What? Oh my gosh. Are you serious? I mean, hold on. For this one, I really have to make an exception here. You know me and prints by now. This is my type of prints. I love this Aztec tribal looking prints. Okay, can I drive? Let me see if I'm driving. Oh my Lord. I'm in trouble. Ah. Uh. Do I have to depart from my beloved blazer? Ah, sis. Does it happen to you? Is it just me here? Please put it down in the comments. What happened? What happens? I mean, I'm not even eating sugar like that anymore. What happened? <laughs> you see why you have to revisit your closet periodically? Because last year, it may have fit you. You don't know about this year. <laughs> I'm like pathetic trying to fit in it. Oh my gosh. You can... I don't want to be compressing my arms. This is... This is really sad. What size is it? Size 4. Of course it's size 4. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one. Will my mommy want to snatch it? This is so... Size 4. So it was probably a, a teeny tiny bit tight when I bought it. I, I just fell in love with a print. I think this is what happened. Because I can't. Mm -mm. No, it's crazy. So, this, oh, I love it. I never wore this, though. Size 10. This is a 9 West long jacket I purchased. Oh, I just love the chain length detail. 
and of course the lining and I believe this is like for more of a cooler weather because this lining says this is going to make you sweat okay what have we here oh I love this this fits you see how it looks nice if you're wearing something with a color underneath it you, you see you literally replacing the colors of a jacket I think it looks so nice not with this um, color this print but if you're wearing something else underneath it something black or pink or white purple whatever it's going to look so good and so chic and yeah I love it it really gives me like first lady vibe you know I really really like it let me turn it around so you can see better I love the length I love love the length of this blazer so yeah I'm keeping it this purple paisley blazer I don't even have to try it on I thrifted it last year I believe I made a video it was part of a haul and I actually shot a few looks from it this is from Worth New York size 12 made in China and it fits me great I'm going to insert a few pictures but yes I'm keeping this this is gorgeous gorgeous I love the mix next is gonna be this of course I'm keeping this of course of course I literally just tried it on for you sis if you have not seen most of my thrift hauls um, you can go I believe I created a playlist for all the thrift hauls sis so many good goodies and try-ons and styling um, tips as well so I'm keeping this for sure this is so good and this one is perfect I am keeping this it fits great oh, i love the pleats it's so good i am keeping this this one oh, i love it i haven't worn this in a while though this is really like for the winter it's tweed i love the motif i love the pink and the orange and the red Liz Claiborne collection this is vintage you can see by the pockets this is more of an 80s style Let's see how I like it these days. Okay. Yeah, I like it. And it fits me good. So cool. So chic. So chic. I love it. Let me turn it around so you can see. Yes. I flipped it, of course. This is the Rocos. Naples, Florida. I guess this is a local designer here in Florida. I live in Florida if you did not know. And I believe this was from Goodwill. From the men's section. I really like the color scheme. I like the oversized feel. Let me see if I still like it. Um, do I still like it? Hmm. That's a good question. Let me see. I know this is the whole vibe of wearing a, an oversized blazer, but I feel like the shoulder parts are really like falling. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it gives me a nice structure. You know, I like me a good shoulder pads but I feel like this one is like descending giving me a weird shape says I'm not going to keep this this is gonna be part of my giveaway as well so one of you sis will be enjoying this soon so no I believe if you have maybe like broader shoulders than me it's gonna look nicer so this is not typically like necessarily a blazer it's more of a duster cardigan type and I wore this I believe yeah I think I wore this a year ago on my channel this is more like for layering so we can still try this on and see if I still like it why not uh, I thrifted it
Yeah, I think it really adds drama to an outfit. And of course with a hoodie, but if you don't want to wear the hoodie, you can just lay it down like this. Almost like a shawl. Almost like a shawl, like a scarf. I actually like it. What do you think? I actually like it. This one I think like a shawl. And then of course with a zipper, you can zip it up. I like it, but do I love it? Why don't I wear this these days? Yeah, these days I don't really reach out for it. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, okay, sis, it's going. short sleeve blouse like I love them this is vintage of course a Triumph collection size 10 I love the color let's see oh I love it with some short with some jeans with a skirt you look so put together we don't want to all look like Zara's clones it's it, it's crazy because if we buy the exact same things all of us we wear the exact same thing. Where is our own originality and authenticity? So that's why I like to mix and match. Vintage, thrifted, a little bit of a Zara, H&M here and there. Of course, my own African, you know, accessories, prints, jewelry. So you have to add your own things, your own, what makes you unique, you know, to be different from everybody else even if you may be wearing the same pieces so this of course I'm going to love I'm going to love made in India this is tailored culture Stafford or Stafford how do you pronounce that men's section of course and uh, it makes you feel like some very important and rich CEO <laughs> I love this I love this. You see, this is my type of oversized. That's why I let go of the other oversized. I like the shoulder pads and the shoulder style of this one. I think this looks so chic. What do you think? This is definitely a keep. I mean, I thrifted it, of course. Yes, this is definitely a keep. My other navy blue blazers. I keep on buying them. It's like I cannot stop. <laughs> Because the style, I mean, the men's section is full of them. Yes, I like this. This is oversized. This really gives you that exaggerated look, strong look, but it's fashion. You know, if you're standing like this. <laughs> this is fashion. I love this color. Oh, it looks so good. I think this is what I wore. Oh yes, I'll insert a picture. Let me make sure if this is the same jacket. Made in Vietnam, Calvin Klein, yes. I actually wore it with my um, army pants, my camouflage pants, and I belted it. Oh my gosh, this look, sis. This look, that's what I can see with my double belt from Shein and some Zara boots. I need to insert the clip. I need, I need to give you that, that, that breadcrumb. So you'll see how I style this.
now we have a denim blazer this is very lightweight that I purchased and I love this I think it's recent actually from 7th Avenue size XL and brand new it was $69.95 you can still see the price so this is very nice and uh, what happened to it it looks funky now for some reason don't you think sis on me at least what happened <laughs> why does it look like this like I feel like it's not even even I guess I have to iron it but it looks funky let me turn it on so you can see what do you think uh uh something is not right with it now you see it was taking up space in my closet no i'm sure one of you sis will be able to really bring it out and you see it's brand new so i'll be giving stuff away that is also brand new so we have time by the time we reach 1000 subscribers to see i don't know how we're going to do it either i'll show the pieces and you maybe you put your size in the comments and then i'll i don't know how it's going to happen but we'll see when we get there but at least you see the nice pieces i'm really really not keeping things just because this one is Ralph Lauren size 8 yes you see how i have so many navy blue blazers and jackets and there's some over there so okay let's see this one i like this one a lot I feel like it gives you more of a preppy look, you know, it's not too long that sometimes when I really want to look fitted, this is going to come out to play. So I'm keeping this. Okay, sis, so we're going to stop for now. This is part one of my blazer purging video. There's so many more and so, yeah, otherwise this video will be like, it will take a few days. <laughs> <laughs> so please stay tuned and I hope that you subscribe by now since you know we have got a vibe if you stayed for that long I really hope that you like this format where I talk about the history behind my pieces and how to style them and how to also uh, incorporate you know some different accessories and styling um, to your own blazers or pieces as well to rock them so i am so excited about this idea of a giveaway what do you think let me know in the comments um so you know what you gotta do sis we gotta press the subscribe button we got to share it my videos we have to activate the notification bell as well to be um, notified of any upcoming videos i have a trip haul for you um, coming soon in a few days you don't want to miss out of course I went to Goodwill for the 4th of July they had a 40% discount I could not miss it for the world and so I'm so excited for the purchases I made of course I want to try them on for you so this is part one I'm going to stop for now and as always stay blessed bye